Hello sailors. I'm Captain Tom Tersey from the Maryland School of Sailing and Seamanship. The intercoastal waterway called the ICW along parts of the U.S. East Coast and the Gulf Coast lays between the mainland and the barrier islands in these areas. It's equipped with a system of nav aids, that is the buoys and beacons, maintained by the U.S. Coast Guard. These nav aids carry special markings to distinguish them from other nav aids that are, that are not part of the ICW system. Let's look at the U.S. Coast Guard Light List Volume 2. This color picture summarizes all of the types of conventional nav aids in tidal waters. The red and green nav aids in this system are called lateral marks as they mark the edges of channels. And to stay in the channel, you leave the red marks to starboard of your boat when you're returning from sea. That is when sailing from big water to little water. As this is stated here in the light list, normally the conventional direction of voyage, that is the buoys, is the direction in which a vessel enters navigable channels from seaward and proceeds towards the head of navigation. As a reminder of this, we use the phrase red right returning. And when going in the opposite direction, that is, when going from rivers or bays out to sea, we use the reminder green right going. Further, the light list says, in the absence of a route leading from seaward, the conventional direction of voyage generally follows a clockwise direction around land masses. And this refers directly to the ICW, which parallels the coastline and crosses with conventional routes leading in from the sea. Where they cross, a system of markings is provided to distinguish between the two routes as described here in the light list. Aids to navigation marking the intracoastal waterway, ICW, display unique yellow symbols to distinguish them from aids marking other waters. Yellow triangles indicate aids that should be passed, keep, keeping them on the starboard right hand of the vessel. Yellow squares indicate aids that should be passed by keeping them on the port left hand of the vessel. A yellow horizontal band provides no lateral information, but simply identifies aids as marking the ICW. So let's look at an example of all of this. And we have a situation with the intra-coastal waterway. Along the east coast and some portions of the Gulf Coast, I can think of the coast of New Jersey as a good example of that, where you have the ocean, the barrier islands, and the mainland. And in there you have this intra-coastal waterway. And you have a situation here where you're traveling in this chart from right to left, and you're following here the intracoastal waterway marks, red and green. They're lateral marks. You're staying in that. Now you come to a point in that intracoastal waterway channel where you're crossing paths with this channel coming in from the sea. And this channel coming in from the sea has red on the right, green on the left, but if you're following the intercoastal waterway, you come to a red here, but you come to a green there. And in this case, you're going to have a green on your right and a green on your left. So which do I use? And then you're back to red on your right and green on your left. So the usage yellow squares or triangles to signify for the intercoastal waterway, the, the yellow square would signify a, a left-hand mark and the triangle a, a right-hand mark. So if you have a yellow triangle for the intercoastal waterway, that signifies a mark that should be left on your starboard side coming in the direction we were showing. So you could have a yellow triangle on a green marker. And I come here, and this red has a yellow triangle, and this red has a yellow square, and this green has a yellow triangle, and this green has a yellow square. So if I'm following intercoastal waterway and I know I'm coming to this junction, I know that this red buoy I'm supposed to leave it to starboard, and I know this green buoy I'm going to leave to starboard. 
So that's how the intercoastal waterway is distinguished from the, from the others. Well, this is a small lesson in navigation, but I hope you can take away something useful from it. And thanks for participating.